this is amazing because if you really be honest about it, this was a base form of healing. This is not a very sanitation, sanitary healing. This is very uncouth. This is very undignified. You're just, you're just going to go do that, Jesus, and then you're just going to go put some dirt and mud together and slap it on the man's eyes. Now, I know the man can't see, but he can hear because whenever you're lacking in one sense, the other ones pick up good. So I know he heard Jesus spit on the ground, and I know he heard Jesus doing something with his hands in the dirt and the mud, and I know he felt Jesus getting close to him and I know he felt that mud come on his eyes and he probably could have said man what is your problem man what are you doing putting it on me but he didn't say any of that he just obeyed Jesus and walked to the pool of Salome even though it was humiliating even though it was disgusting it's what got him healed and I begin to think about it if you have a problem as long as he did and you've been in something for a long time you ain't worried about being cute about it you ain't worried about being nice about it you don't care how what you got to do whatever Whatever it takes, God. See, a lot of people can't be healed because they're too cute. And it's got to be done this way, and it's got to be done this way, and it's got to be done this time. And I can't look dirty, and I can't be embarrassed. But if God spit on the ground and threw some mud on you, if that would change your situation, who in here doesn't mind? Whatever it takes, God, spit on me, throw mud on me, throw dirt on me, do whatever you got to do. But please turn my situation around 